President Muhammad Buhari today led some dignitaries, including former President Goodluck Jonathan, to celebrate Nigeria's 62nd Independence Day anniversary. Also present were members of the diplomatic community who witnessed the ceremony characterized by a colorful military parade. Also in attendance were the wife of the President Aisha Buhari, wife of the Vice President Dolapo Shibajo, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, President of the Senate, Hakmed Lawan, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, and the Service Chiefs, among others. The signing of the Electoral Act 2021 as amended with landmark provisions further assures us of a more transparent and inclusive electoral process. Having witnessed at close quarters the pains, anguish, and disappointment of being a victim of an unfair electoral process, the pursuit of an electoral system and processes that guarantee election of leaders by citizens remain the guiding light as I prepare to wind down our administration. You will all agree that the recent elections in the first two years in some states, notably Anambra, Ekiti and Ocean, and a few federal constituencies have shown a high degree of credibility, transparency, and freedom of choice with the FIFA votes actually counting. This, I promise, would be improved often as we move towards the 2023 general elections. As we begin the transition process to another democratically elected government, I want to implore all aspirants to conduct issue-based campaigns devoid of hate speeches as well as other negative and divisive tendencies. I also want to express my wish that we see more female and youth participation in the forthcoming electoral cycle. I am sure that our team and energetic youth now realize that violence generally mar elections and so should desist from being used. The president used the occasion to urge ASU uh, to suspend the over seven month strike while negotiations on the concerns the race will be addressed based on the available resources. I must confess that I am very pained by the recurrent disruption to our tertiary education system and I am using this Independence Day celebration to reiterate my call for the striking academic staff union of universities to turn to the classroom while assuring them to deal with their contending issues within the limits of the scarce resources available. This administration has made appreciable progress in redressing these issues that have been lingering for over 11 years. The federal government will continue to mobilize resources both internationally and nationally towards funding education to ensure that our citizens are well educated and secured in various vocations in view of the fact that education is a leading determinant of economic growth and employment. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.